Good day everyone, Scott here from One Green Thumb Gardening in Toowoomba. Uh, today I just want to do a video as a person has reached out to me asking about putting grease nipples onto a hedge trimmer attachment for a multi-tool. So I've got a brand spanking new one here that I bought in March and it is now October. So we're going to crack this one open. I'm going to show you how much little grease they put inside here. Um, there's no specific grease really. I've tried doing research on what kind of grease they use, but I can't really work that out. So just any kind of multi-purpose grease um, for bearings. This one here is just one for disc brakes and bearings and all that sort of stuff. Generally, once you start using these things in the wet, they get water all up in here, and then you have to clean it all out with petrol and degreaser and strip all the grease out and regrease them anyway. So which I generally do about three times a year. Um, and then I've got an old school one. So we'll crack this one open. There's my little grease nipple in there. Um, this one's pretty feral and the teeth are fairly worn on this guy. So we'll crack that one open after we get into this guy. Um, and then yeah, I've just got multi-purpose grease in there. Now, what you'll need is a size four Allen key, four mil, and a five mil. So the four mil will go into here, and then a five mil into this back part. Or you can use a four and a five mil on an impact drill. And it's a lot easier. Now they will be super tight because they put that blue um, nut lock in there. Oops, don't do that. All right, also when I buy my tools, I will always inscribe the date of when I purchased them. So in the case of malfunction, malfunction and warranty, um, you can take them back and know, especially your batteries. Make sure you put your date on because if you go past the one year mark for commercial, you're not covered. And if they're playing up before that 12 months, um, by just having the date on a battery, Just so you can see, 3rd of the 2nd, 24. Anyway, let's crack this baby open. So, oops, sorry. No, you're right. So you can see how little grease is actually in there to run this thing. Shit, I might do 2,000 hours in a year. So, oops, there's very little grease in that. So what I'll do is I'll put the grease nipple so it comes in through the side here. The grease nipples I've got are just a six mil by one, sorry, six by one mil straight, pack of 50. I think I paid 13 or $14 for that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna jam a whole back, whole heap of grease in there um, you don't really need to put a grease nipple on this side because as this thing turns it actually pushes grease back through that so I find that if I put too much grease it sort of comes in through here so we don't need to put grease up the top um, so let's pack that full of grease yeah sure all right And if you don't want grease on your hands, wear gloves. Now they do say that under maintenance, you should do this too, as part of maintenance, but um, 
then if yeah so if you go to claim it under warranty and it, they can say that it wasn't maintained but they give you no grease in there all right all for good measure. All right. Mm -hmm. Mysterious goo. Yeah. Very appetizing. It is a bit appetizing. Yeah. Why do they have to make it look blue though? I don't know. It's fancy. All right. So that's what we have to do to pack that with grease. One of the biggest problems you will have, which you can buy on install and fix in Australia is this bearing. Sometimes these little ones will pop out somehow um, or they'll seize up and just shatter. Um, you can replace those, I think they're 30 bucks. So they're about the biggest problem that I'll have in, Whoops. in the, this gearing setup. I've never actually had the gears wear out I always have the hedge trimmer wear out before the gears wear out. All right, so let's put that back on. So as your hedge trimmer will wear out over time, oh, let me take this off. Sorry, Does that come off without. Oh, no. So over time, sometimes um, it'll actually become quite loose in this one here. So what I've done is I will put a larger, I didn't, oh yeah, there's another one. So I'll put a bolt going all the way through, or to the point where uh. I've got a bolt going through with a wing nut, so when it does loosen off, I can tighten that up. Otherwise that there will Bend. become quite loose and wobbly. And potentially become fatal. Well, it is. All right. What are you doing, Aiden? Getting some extra good shots. Okay, we'll just hold it there for me. I advise using an Allen key to put them back in before you use a drill because if you don't have the threads lined up and you use the drill you will just strip out your threads My days. Do you want me to do this? No. Right. All right. Mm. Satisfying. All right. 
That one there is the one. Make sure they're all tight. You don't want to have these nuts flying through the room. Oh, you didn't. Oh, that's right. what, what do you want? Higher? Lower? Better angle? I just need it. Then we're gonna get our five mil. Undo him. Grease nipple. Oh. So I've already packed this one with grease. But... Grease nut. Sounds more better. All right, so that's our grease nipple in there done. Mm. Yeah, nice and shiny. Eh? Mm. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do because I like <laughs> my handle to be longer, so we're going to switch it over. That's what she said. Yeah, with. The one from the chainsaw. And then that'll give me an extra inch. Eight inches or 20 centimeters. Mm -mm. All right, so let's take off this guy. So, oh, sorry, we don't need to undo them all the way. It's this one here that we need to take out. It's heavy when I'm using one hand and holding it the wrong way. Oh, wait up, we can take that off. Why are you not going in there? My hole doesn't want to line up. Uh, another one. Maybe I just mm. drilled a hole for it. Hmm. Oh, yes, I did. So I've just drilled a hole. Or we could just use that. Well, that one's a bit old and dirty. This one's more fresh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then you have that old crusty dusty, musty busty.
doesn't matter what the size difference is. As long as that screws into there, which will grow bigger. Hold on, hold on, sorry. I've got a bit of grease. Sorry, Disgusting. Oh, and mm. Check out the grease in there. There's more grease in there than there is in the bearings. Real. All right, oops. So we put that one in so our hole goes. Now we're going to put our nut back in that one. Yep. That one should be that one set to go. Except my grease gun has dribbled grease all over that. All right, so that one's ready to roll. So the only thing I don't like about the whole Ego setup is that when they're in, so once they go past that point there, there's nothing to hold them in place and as they wear out they'll do that so when you're carrying it um, it hasn't happened to me but it's happened to a staff member that it's gone along and sliced his leg between hedges uh, was it rotating while it was doing it no he just was walking and it cut him ah. so i modified i created a little gadget so that it's then locked mm. diy so now, and the best thing about that, I can do a hedge at any angle. So especially when I'm doing fences, up along fence lines, I can come in and go down in behind the fence. All right, let's put this guy back together and then let's crack him open. So this is one of my favourite hedge trimmers. That gets absolutely flogged. Yum. Yum. <gasps> Damn. Oh. <gasps> so that's the inside. So that's ready for a grease and oil change. Oil so I just wanted to show you. That'll be a different video, but we'll put this grease nipple on and then I'll show you mm. what it does when we pump it with grease, because I don't have one that... Yeah, no. Did you lose your nipples? No, I lost them. Um... Mm. So that'll pump the grease in. Mm. There, so that'll. I usually do 10 squirts and that'll fill the, most of that chamber up. Why can't I zoom in? I don't know. So, yeah, that's, that's what I do there. Yeah, 
think it's the how long the video is because it won't let me go up to time oh. three. So yeah, all I do now is like to clean this out. I'll pull off this part, strip it all out, degrease it. Oh, sorry, I'll undo this nut and bolt, pull it out. So then I'll separate this chamber from the the shaft and then soak all that in petrol and then pack it all full of grease and then away we go. Sort of looks like Vegemite with strawberry jam. Yeah. Now this... All right. Oh, that's the grease nipples done. Well, yeah. that's how I do the grease nipples. Mm -hmm. Grease nipples. All right, so, uh, so we don't go any longer. Thanks for watching. If there's any queries, questions, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching and have a beautiful day. See ya.